All right, hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our uh, week number six Twitch live stream. Hard to believe it, but we are in week six. So we have this week, next week, and one more week after that. And then our class is over, kind of a quick eight weeks, right? It feels quick anyway, uh, but can you all hear me and see me okay? Somebody let me know in the chat if you can hear and see me just, uh, just fine before we get going here. Give you just a minute just to make sure. Everything looks good on my end, but just to make sure you can all hear me fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for letting me know. Perfect. All right, so um, again, we're in week number six, so I want to take a few minutes to talk about uh, the materials that are due this week. So we're, uh, we have week five and six right now, everything due this Sunday night. So uh, just a quick reminder that everything from weeks five and six will be due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Uh, and I will post that here in the chat in just a moment. Let me uh, type that up. So quick reminder. Okay, so um, I put that in the chat here as a quick reminder that everything from weeks five and six is due by this Sunday night. So just make sure if you haven't done the materials from last week, that you get going on that. You wanna make sure that you uh, are getting everything in by this Sunday night. But let's go ahead and head over to Canvas together and we'll take a look at, uh, at what we have going on. And again, if we scroll down, we are right here, right? So week number six, and when I see you next week, we'll talk about week seven and we have seven and eight left and that is it. So uh, definitely getting close to our class being over. But if we um, click on week number six, right now we're in that week five and six chunk. So if you have not done the materials, remember that last week we talked about chapter nine and 10, discussions nine and 10, and then the self-assessment number two. So those were all the materials from last week for you to do. Um, let's take a look at what we have going on this week for week number six. So for week number six, we're looking at chapters 11 and 12. So the topics of human development and personality, two very core topics to psychology. So you're going to want to make sure that you read chapter 11 and 12 in the ebook. Um, always be sure that you're reading those. Hopefully that kind of fills in all the gaps and gives you a nice general overview. Then you're going to want to go through and complete the lectures for chapters 11 and 12. So uh, clicking on this, remember, as always, it's got that five page format, objectives and summary, beyond the book, in pop culture, key terms and application. So on this first page, you get that little bit of an overview and summary. Uh, then you have the Beyond the Book page here. We have a, a couple of videos that I put in here, 100 Years by Five for Fighting, great song connected to aging and some of the kind of things that we go through at each stage. A little bit about Alzheimer's and aging and gender identity. Um, and then on the third page in pop culture, lots of movies and books related to this topic of aging. A little video down here at the bottom about the five stages that we go through as we react to the idea of our own um, death or the loss of a loved one. Um, on the key terms and review, we have um, these different terms that you need to know from this chapter for the exam. And then finally on the application page, uh, now that you've read through this, how can you apply it to your life? A little bit about pregnancy, playing with children, and then keeping your mind sharp as you age. So make sure as usual that you click on anything I have in there watch all of the little videos and links, all of that together is going to help you to understand the materials better. You'll wanna do the same thing with the uh, chapter on personality. So click on that chapter 12 lecture, same format, right? Summaries and objective. Beyond the book, um, I have a video here um, on personality and the eight different theories. It might be kind of helpful as a quick overview. A video about uh, defense mechanisms, and um, some uh, personality assessment kind of stuff. In pop culture, a couple of references to things in movies and shows related to personality. The key terms from chapter 12. And then on application page, I have some fun websites that you can go to if you would like to take some personality tests just kind of for fun. A couple of them are better than others, but most of them are just kind of uh, entertaining more than anything else. So make sure that you not only read the chapters in the book, but also go through and read the lectures that I have and watch the lecture videos. These are gonna be me lecturing to the PowerPoint slides, traditionally with a Zoom link here that's been uploaded, but that will really help you to understand the content uh, for the exam. Like usual, we also have two discussions this week, discussion number 11 and 12. 
Discussion number 11 is related to human development. So as always, you probably wanna watch my video that I have here of me explaining uh, the discussion to you, giving you a little bit of feedback about what to do. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to complete these materials below. I want you to listen to these two songs uh, about being a teenager. You're getting your country fix for the week here. You're listening to 15 by Taylor Swift and Letter to Me by Brad Paisley, two songs about being a teenager. Um, I also want you to go on a little field trip. Now you can do this virtually if you would rather, or you can go to a store and physically look at some cards. But I want you to go to somewhere that sells cards or look them up online. Um, Hallmark, Target, Walmart, the grocery store, CVS, Walgreens, anywhere that sells greeting cards. And I want you to look at some cards that target um, turning 30, 40, or 50, and then late adulthood as well, turning 60, 70, 80, or just kind of aging in general. And then once you've done those two things, you're going to answer a couple of questions related to what you what you learn. Uh, how do the songs incorporate and demonstrate some of the cognitive, social, and physical milestones of being a teenager? I want you to give me specific examples from the lyrics uh, and incorporate those materials from chapter 11. I'm really looking to see that you can point out some specific lyrics that highlight the topics that we're covering, linking it to the material, showing me that you understand and can apply the reading. Um, and then you're going to look at the cards. What were some of the general messages, tones, and focus of the cards for each age range that you, exam you examined? What are some of the attitudes and stereotypes that you observed related to aging or getting older? Right? A lot of cards are very funny, kind of poking fun at the idea of aging, but what are some of the attitudes and stereotypes that you're seeing? And then just for fun, if you had to personally be stuck at one age for the rest of your life, what age would you pick and why? Um, and as I mentioned, you um, you don't need to go out to look for the cards, but if you feel comfortable going out, that's probably um, the easiest, but you can also do an internet search. Feel free to take pictures of the cards if you'd like to post the picture of it. Um, that's always entertaining and fun. Um, but when you're ready, you will hit reply and answer all of my questions to earn up to 13 points. And then don't forget, as always, to reply to a classmate to get those two points uh, of credit for doing that. So uh, make sure you get going on discussion number 11, looking at aging and uh, human development. You'll also wanna do discussion number 12 related to personality. So same here, you wanna watch my little video where I introduce this. Uh, make sure that you read all of the questions below. And this one, you're looking at a couple of things related to personality theories and, and that content for this week. Uh, number one, if you had to describe what has made you the person you are today, in other words, what are some of the things that have shaped your personality, what are some of those key contributors? I want you to share a minimum of two factors that you feel have really heavily contributed to your personality and explain how they have contributed to who you are today. Maybe it's a person or an event or genetics, your environment. It can be a wide variety of things. Hopefully reading through the chapter will give you some ideas. But you're going to talk about how they have contributed to who you are and why. Uh, in the spirit of the trait perspective, if you had to describe yourself in five words, what would those five words be? If somebody asked you, describe yourself in five different traits or adjectives, uh, which words would you describe and why? And then I want you to ask two different people in your life who know you in, uh, pretty decently to describe you in five words. If they were to describe you in five words, what would they be? Maybe this is a family member, a romantic partner, a coworker, a friend, whoever it might be. People who know you in different capacities can be really interesting. What are the words they use? Are they similar to yours? Are they different? What are your reactions? Do you agree, disagree? Uh, kind of interesting. You have to promise not to be offended by the words they choose, but um, could be kind of interesting to compare. And then I want you to also go take one of these personality quizzes. Now, some of these are more for fun. Um, and others are a little bit more sound, like the personality pathways and human metrics websites. Those two are much better tests. The other two are a little bit more for fun, but I want you to describe which personality quiz you took. What are your reactions? Uh, do you feel like it was a good test, a bad test? How do you feel about your results and so on? Uh, on the out of service one, I took my Star Wars twin, which is Obi-Wan Kenobi as a side note. Um, and these ones, you can take more of like the Myers-Briggs typology indicator or the CSI. So um, pick one. You can always do more than one if you would like, but at least do one of these different tests. And then you're going to describe your reactions, the results, and so on. Um, so again, you'll hit reply when you're ready to do that. And then let's say I want to reply to Colton here. I could hit reply uh, and talk about that as well.
So make sure you do both discussions, discussion 11 and 12. The other big thing that we have this week, because it is an even week and, and week number six, we do have exam number three. So exam number three is going to be on the chapters in this unit for these last two weeks. So uh, remember that you have a study guide. If we click on study guide number three, this exam covers chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12. So make sure you know all of the terms from chapter 9, 10, 11, and 12. Anything listed on here will be on the exam. If it's not on here, then you don't need to worry about it. So just make sure you are familiar and comfortable with everything on the study guide. And when you're ready, you'll go click on exam number three, and it'll take you to the ebook site. Remember, you have to take all of them on that ebook site, um, and you can take that third exam. <coughs> Excuse me. Same um, suggestions as I made for you with the other exams. Uh, try not to wait till Sunday night. Um, give yourself plenty of time to take the test. Uh, don't wait till the last minute. Inevitably, the power will go out. Your internet will crash, your computer will die, you know, something will happen. So try and give yourself um, the best opportunity for success and take it earlier in the week. Um, also make sure that you're studying and preparing. A lot of you are doing really, really beautifully on these exams. So if you're finding that your scores are really good, keep doing the same thing. It's clearly working for you. Uh, if your scores are a little lower than you would like, Make sure that you are studying and preparing, doing that study guide, and that will really, really help you. But that exam is due by this Sunday night, so make sure that you take it. Remember, no trick questions, um, and kind of keep going with the same format you've been doing if your scores are working for you. So those are the big things for this week. Um, read these two chapters plus the lecture and the videos. Do the two discussions, and then don't forget to complete exam number three. And of course, if you didn't do the materials from last week, you'll want to make sure that you go back and do those as well. Everything from weeks five and six is due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Uh, I do have a couple of uh, kind of reminders and announcements along with the extra credit question for you. But are there any questions about the exam, about the materials for these two weeks, anything that I can answer for those of you who are here with me, with me live? Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them. Uh, in the chat. Otherwise, um, I do have a couple of reminders for you. So the first reminder is that uh, our next Twitch live stream will be on Tuesday morning next week at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I will post that here in the chat. So our next Twitch live stream will be next Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, like usual, we'll have two more. So we'll have one for week number seven and then one for week number eight. And that will be it for us. Um, I'd also really like to remind you, uh, almost all of you have fallen off with your subscriptions. So um, what I'm noticing is a lot of you, right? So uh, Wynette, yours has expired. Uh, Joseph, yours has expired. Um, and then there's probably quite a few people who aren't here. Uh, if you no longer have the little football cake next to your name, you need to go back and renew it for another 30 days. Uh, and so out of the 150 of you in this class, only 12 of you are currently subscribed. Uh, and again, um, the only reason I bring it up is one, it, it makes your experience a little bit smoother with no ads, but it saves me so much time. And uh, when like 40 of you were subscribed, it made my life easier with only 12. Uh, I definitely could use your help if you have a minute to go renew that. Let me show you really quickly for a minute. I'm going to move this up so that you can see it better. If you already went through all the steps to subscribe, if you go to Twitch, and again, I'm on here on somebody else's channel just because I can't show you on my own. But remember, if you were to go on to Twitch and go to my channel, so Psyched with Setmeyer, there's this little purple bar right here underneath, right? And so if you click on that down arrow, it's gonna bring up this little box in the middle and you go all the way back down to the bottom and you click where it says use Prime Sub, click right there and then subscribe um, for free with Prime. And remember, this will be good for 30 days. So a lot of you, as I said, um, the vast majority of you at this point that has expired or um, is no longer valid. So if you could go on here and redo that, I would really appreciate it. It saves me so much time. And with only 12 of you uh, being subscribed at the moment, uh, it's taking me a very long time to go through and, and keep track of who is here. So uh, I really appreciate those of you, if you could take a minute now or when we're done here today, uh, that would be amazing, uh, just so that it can save me a little bit of time. Um, and if you're watching this later, 
the only way to get credit for watching it later would be to be subscribed as well. So um, thank you again for those of you um, who are doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, otherwise, let me give you that Twitch extra credit question so that you can get credit for joining me today live. Or again, if you're watching this later, you can get that credit if you're subscribed. So here are the Here's the extra credit question for this week, right? So the Twitch extra credit number six is what are Piaget's four stages of cognitive development? And give me one element of each stage, okay? So what are his four stages of cognitive development? And then describe or give me one element going on in each one of those stages. And when you're ready to answer that, you'll go back to Canvas. And since we're in week six, you'll click on optional Twitch extra credit number six. Up here at the top, you'll click on start assignment. And that's going to open this little text box where you can type your response. And then when you've answered that question fully, you've given me those four stages and one element for each. You can hit submit assignment. Uh, and then you get the little confetti burst, right, and two points of extra credit. There's only two more of these after this week. So, you know, definitely want to make sure you're getting those opportunities in to help uh, take some pressure off an exam or maybe a, a missed discussion or something like that. Uh, but if you can go ahead and do that on here, I will be grading them throughout the week. So if you get it wrong, um, I can give you some feedback and allow you to resubmit. So um, those are the big things for this week. Get going on week number six. Make sure you finish week number five if you haven't already. Everything is due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. And again, if you could take a couple of minutes today, either while you are watching this live or later on um, and renew that subscription or figure that out, I would really appreciate it. If you do that now, it'll last you through the end of the class and then you should be all set. So um, thank you so much for all of you who joined me. Live, if you have any questions or comments or things you're confused on, um, I will hang out for a little bit and you can go ahead and put those in the chat. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic week. Um, it's been so nice and cool, but it's going to get hot again this weekend. But uh, we'll enjoy this nice weather while it lasts. Starting to feel a little bit like fall, right? First day of fall being tomorrow. Very ready for that. Uh, but have a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves. Uh, I'm going to minimize my video, but I will hang out for a little while. If you do have any questions for me, feel free to put those in the chat. Otherwise, I will hope to see you all next Tuesday morning for our week number seven live stream. Let's see. You said I can't seem to find the use prime sub button or, or would I resubscribe when the live stream is done? Yes, you can go do that. So um, you have the little Prime Gaming thing. So if you go back to that page, it should be this little purple bar underneath. Uh, here, wait, let me move this back so you can see it. Sorry, it doesn't always show it very well. Uh, but if you go back, it's right there. Oh, it looks like maybe you found it. Okay. It just hit resubscribe. Does that show on your end? Yes. So you see the little football cake on your end. So you're all good. Thank you for, for figuring that out. But yeah, um, right here. So you have the Prime Gaming thing. But if you go back right here, this purple bar, and then hit the down arrow, and then all the way at the bottom, it says use Prime Sub, and then subscribe for free with Prime. Okay. And again, if you can't figure it out, you can't. That's totally fine. But um, it definitely, as I said, makes my life um, quite a bit easier if you do. So thank you. Thank you for trying.
Thank you as well. Have a wonderful day. All right, everyone, it looks like most of you have logged out. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up so I can start the download and upload process. But have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will look forward to seeing you next Tuesday morning.